Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the C-Crane, CC Skywave SSB, and I'm performing an evening medium wave band scan. I had done one in the past, but it's been a while, about a year or two, I figured it's about time to do it again. So we'll go over features of the radio, do some size comparisons, then we're going to cruise the evening band. So let's check it out, the C-Crane, CC Skywave SSB. A lot of people love this radio, a lot of people want this radio, yeah, so let's go over it. Left hand side we got a carry strap. We have our headphone jack, FM stereo, sounds really good on headphones by the way. We have a USB in 5 volts uh, mini, used to charge the radio and to run it off AC power. Front of the radio we have a small speaker, rather tinny, but not too bad with sports and talk, especially when using the bandwidth filters on lower settings, it's not too bad. Here we have our LCD panel, you can see better life indicator, currently showing the clock, 12 hour, nice. Skywave SSB on top there. Bunch of buttons. So let's go start over here. We've got the power button with a sleep function. We have an AM FM uh, band select button by itself there with alert mode. Press and hold to get to the weather alert mode. Nice to have. Over here, another little band switch weather, shortwave, and airband. Here we have single sideband button uh, to access so you can listen to the hams. And if you look above it, there's secondary features. This one changes from 12 hour to 24 hour clock. Down here, once you're in single sideband, use this to toggle between USB, upper sideband, and lower sideband. And of course, that sets the time. And below that is fine tuning. So once you're in single sideband, hit this button, you are in the fine tuning mode, and you can tune in really close, especially for CW. Uh, numeric keypad here for direct entry of frequencies. Over here, bandwidth control. That's really nice. It's different values for medium wave and uh, short wave on single sideband. You'll see that's pretty neat. Over here on zero, you'll see it's nine 10 kilohertz switches. Nice. Uh, over here we have a meter band switch. This is neat in shortwave, especially when it's single side band. If you press this, it goes to the popular ham bands. And of course, stereo feature above it. A lock button, a light button with auto tuning system. I don't use the auto tuning system too much. Page function to access all your presets. This has hundreds of presets, which is great. Tone control, music and voice. That's another nice feature. And of course, frequency, you press that, enter your frequency to go to the desired uh, frequency you want to be on. Here we have tuning up and down buttons and seek forward and seek down for browsing. Let's go to the right-hand side of the radio. We have volume control, analog, which is nice. And here we have an indented tuning knob, which is really nice. It's like on the regular Skywave as well. It also has a put push button feature, lets you, lets you access the fast and slow modes for all the different bands, and of course, squelch for the air band. If you look on the back, it tells you what the push knob does when you push it in. There you are. Let's go to the top of the radio. We have the antenna. This is going to bring in your shortwave, your FM, your uh, NOAA weather podcast, air band. It's going to pick up all those except for the AM band, uh, the medium wave. So, yeah, it's used for most of the others there. So, let's go ahead and go to the back. We have a kickout stand, which is nice. We got the frequency information there. This radio does the coverage. Short wave, I like that 1.7 to 29.9 megahertz. And we open this up, and it gives you a little bit of an idea what the bandwidth controls are and what they do as you go down the scale. Um, best strong noise filtering, one to two kilohertz. Two kilohertz is a really good noisy environment. Maybe we'll get to showcase that tonight. Vented case. Uh, I know I'm spending a lot of time on the radio, but it's fun. This is a cool radio. Uh, battery compartment is hard to get into, but there we are. Uh, two AA batteries. I'm using uh, rechargeables, EBLs, 2800, high capacity, low self-discharge cells. I really like these batteries. Affordable. Um, they run about 75 hours, too. Positives of uh, going to the left-hand side of the radio. There you go. That way. <laughs> so let me put this back back on. Uh, yeah, so you rarely go in there because you can charge it from that USB port, which is great. And it works out really nice. And the bottom here, we got a reset hole in case the radio locks up. I haven't had that happen yet, but it's good to know that's there. Size comparison. Now, this is the big one. I'm going to bring this up. 
I usually bring out different radios, but for this one, a lot of people go, hey, should Tidebird, should I buy the Skywave SSB? Is it better than the Eaton Elite? Is it better than the 909X? Which one should I get? Well, to be honest with you, this is what, how you think about it. Do you need extreme portability? Get the Skywave SSB. If you want uh, more of a tabletop, semi-portable, get the Eaton Elite. This is a great radio also. Uh, if I had my choice, I'm staying at home, I'm going to grab the Eaton. If I'm on the go, I'm grabbing the Skywave. It's just how it is. Now, of course, there's a 909X. I don't bring, bring that out. That one's like pretty much a tabletop radio. And it can go portable, but mainly excels with external antennas hooked up to it at a tabletop environment. So there you are. So that's the that shows you the difference there, guys. <laughs> Better audio, of course, because we have that bigger speaker. But, I mean, look at the size. I mean, come on. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Yeah, definitely uh, the Skywave earns a lot of points for size. Uh, let's show you the uh, regular Skywave next to it. Uh, so the regular Skywave is a great radio. These both have great medium wave reception during the day and evening. Um, they almost seem identical. But if you look, the buttons are raised on the single side band. Really nice premium buttons. I like how it's easier to use. Um, but I tend to use my Skywave more often because it's less expensive. I'm less afraid of dropping this one than I am this one. <laughs> Just because the price difference, there's a big difference in price. All right, let's see what else we got. We got CC Pocket. CC Pocket in the house. Can okay, bring this down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, current time, uh, 10, yeah, probably 10, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Good time to start an evening band scan typically. Sometimes it gets better after 10, like 11 o'clock or 12, but uh, hopefully it's good tonight. So there's that. And then, of course, last but not least, we have... Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Sea Crane radios from Sea Crane Land. <laughs> well, it wasn't very original, but it works. Okay, let's turn this on and get tuning. So I have to go over this band's huge at night. We'll lower this down. Okay, I'm already at the top of the band. If you look, um, our frequency, uh, voice mode, our music mode, fast tuning. We have a signal strength indicator, uh, five segment, which is nice. Uh, first four are dashes and then five for the uh, middle and then it has uh, the rest going up as you when we get a strong station you'll see that this is kind of weaker station here so let's go ahead and start at the bottom of the band there we are shows around am let's go ahead and start tuning this So we're just picking up a little bit of music there. I can barely make it out. CHLO 530 Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. Bring the looping. Turk. Sometimes with this radio comes in nice and clear. Let's keep going. Here's 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts. So I just turned it uh, away from the uh, north-south position, now I'm east-west. And now I'm picking up uh, a really distant station, CBK 540 Watra, Saskatchewan. This is a thousand miles away, technically a thousand twenty-five. Um, far the station I can pick up on medium wave typically, unless I get lucky and hit a Cuban station. Uh, but uh, not bad. Very cool. He was a slave for a communist regime in a coal mine for two years until he was liberated in the glorious revolution of 1956. So you could do this here. You could press this in, change it to slow tuning, go to one kilohertz stepping. Was not talking to me. Um, and then uh, you can use these buttons to 10K step. You know, 
know that the tunnel is a few stations come out here. Five ninety is typically K KXSP Omaha, Nebraska, four hundred and five miles, five thousand watts. Sometimes it's WKZO Kalamazoo, Michigan, one hundred thirty-seven miles, five thousand watts in the evening. Don't know if that picked up. I heard it. It said Omaha. Nice. So we did get KXSP. Beautiful. A lot of stations stacking over each other. I think this is KCSP. Okay, he might have said TVN Sports. Um, I'll check that. I'll see if it's uh, WTVN. So let's get right to it. Do you know how smart your smart speakers are? Smart, smart, smarter? That's right. Smart enough to listen to your sweet voice and play what you want. You want yeah. me to go on? Yeah, yeah. Like ALS, play Fox Sports Radio. Do it? I will do it. Now that's smart. How do you banish high rates on car insurance? You switched to Okay, I don't know what the heck that was. I guess that was their slogan or something. Okay, we'll look it up and I'll put it down there. Psychologically, I think part of standing on our own two feet. 620 uh, WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm going to go a little quicker. So if you're just looking at dollars and cents, paying it off. Country music on CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Legalized. The medication failed. My wife gave birth. Now I'm nulling the other station away, going to the opposite location. Now we're picking up a uh, St. Louis station, KYFI, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts. Then my wife became involved with someone else, and I took the children and moved to another restaurant. That's the neat thing about uh, medium wave. You can do that. Some people don't know that. Uh, yeah, just turn the radio and you'll get different stations, especially in the evening. Okay, we're just picking this up. Uh, 640. Um, hope the conditions get better in the future. Uh, WMFN, Piatone, Illinois. 75 miles away, 1600 watts. Oh, that's coming in crystal clear. Uh, that's 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. No mistake. Uh, 434 miles. They were scouts in the Rebels Army and were known for and why. Very cool. And that is 40 and 3, the tower in style. And with the available all-wheel drive, it will transform your driving experience. Out with the old, in with this turbocharged new. Or how about the... Okay, this is 660 WFAN, New York, New York. Home of the Yankees, 750 miles. There's no place like home. That's Dorothy. Oh, the one with the shoes. And all she wanted was to get back. Here's 670 to score, WCR, Chicago, home of the Cubs. You can see the signal strength meter, I think, is pegged. I don't know if that's, that's 10 to 8. No, it looks like it's 10. It looks like it's 8. So you got 5, 6, 7, 8. I think that's as high as it goes. We'll check when we get to 720. 720 is my strongest station. Call 1 800 Got Junk. Or visit 1 800 Got Junk.com. Here's where Mr. Furnace and Furnace Man use home to 
not sure what it is this direction. Just the way it's Toronto. <clears throat> I think this is something else. Mr. Furness. Here's 690 CKGM, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. So many different ways, and he has done so many big things at big moments for the Dodgers in the playoffs this year. The Dodgers are leading 3-1 to one as they bat in the bottom of the eighth inning. One ball, two strikes. Bill Nadalis, a former Antifa member and author of the book Behind the Black Mask. Here's 700 WLW. This is Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. To America and American society, and writers don't hit write hit songs if they only write one song. Yeah, or if they wait. Here's WOR 710, New York, New York, 750 miles. <laughs> yeah, it's got a. It's Okay, so it's an eight bar signal strength indicator. This is 720 WGN, Chicago, strongest station. Received federal help. The city of Naperville received millions of dollars in grants from the federal government. Will she lobby for them? Off lenses for adults and free lenses for kids with a free purchase. And they direct usually good music playing here. CFCM 740 Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Required. Valid at participating locations. Restrictions apply. Taxes extra. See store for a half billion dollars for their clients. They took care of me like no one else. 750 WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Jim looked at the final verdict. I fell to my knees. Mister shows up at your doorstep. You'll be ready. WJR, Detroit, Michigan, on 760, 270 miles. You may be entitled to substantial compensation. You know, I think, okay, we could talk for an hour about really what's happened to the Republican Party. Here's 770. This is WABC, New York, New York, 750 miles. The nice thing about one killer, it's tuning, is that you can get rid of some of that noise. Uh, President Trump got a lot of his votes in 2016, and he'll get a lot more, I believe, in 2020. Wall Street is not representing uh, the the blue collar worker, and they never have. So, you know, voters should kind of take stock and say, what are they giving all this money to Joe Biden? So there you go. Okay. Inspire is not for everyone. Talk to your doctor to see if it's right. Here's 780 WBBM Chicago. At InspireSleep.com. Coronavirus worries are keeping investors on their heels. Another problem with the bylaw. It calls for 100% light abatement, which he argues won't let the crop grow properly. CKLW, Windsor, Ontario. This is 270 miles. I can tell you that much. We need to vent. We need to gap at least that 10, 15%. And somehow this wormed its way into America's media coverage. And that there's never any suggestion that it was really rough. Here's WGY, Albany, New York, 740 miles. WCCO on 830 Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Your gift will be a game changer. Good through Saturday, October 31st. Savings are a mail-in rebate. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Save big money at the Nars. November 3rd. Vaccine. Wrong hour for me. Another update is coming up at the top of the hour. Stay informed with News Radio 840. WHAS. Okay, they got Ground Zero and Coast to Coast on WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. Sometimes it comes in like a local. To talk about, I guess, the state of affairs with regard to the meat. A gentleman uh, speaking there, that's KOA, uh, 850, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Um, 
les plus grands avantages pour vous de fonctionner de cette façon-là? CJBC, 860 Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Pour contrôler ce qu'on mange. Et... WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. So we're taking a trip around the Midwest and Southern states and Eastern states. You know, Andre Iguodala, Andre and some Western states. Here's 900 CHML, Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles, full time radio in the evenings. I'll go back to fast on the knob here. I like using the tuning knob. CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba, 675 miles. Because I thought I knew he's lining up nicely right now for the Dodgers, and one of the reasons. ESPN 1000, WMVP, Chicago. Was excellent tonight. Dave Roberts told us before the game. He's on the This guy just killed his mother, or, or he just he just you know, slashed someone else. He's, he's, Okay, so there's, two, excuse me, two stations. There's one from Chicago and one from uh, Boston. It's interesting. The guy, talk, yeah, the guy uh, speaking English is in Boston. Our local station is supposed to power down. Ten forty W H O, Des Moines, Iowa, two hundred eighty miles. When we come back, more of Katie Livingston's story right here from our home state of Mississippi. This is our American story. There's Arkansas, K A A Y, Little Rock. 570 miles. And of course, a fruit under the front of, of store shops and windows and businesses yeah. over around the White House. And so I would... Here's WTAM 1100, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. It's just a precaution. We're getting ready for the election. Yeah, well, <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. Putin recently, and I can't. Oh, if you caught that Bloomberg radio, that's out of New York City, New York. Beautiful. Um, WBBR. Really appreciate the time, and uh, obviously, good luck to everybody on the Republican side in the upcoming. WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. Arkansas to talk about everything from Hunter Biden and China. You got to Poison their mind. Be careful, people. Protect your mind. Guard. This is KFAQ, 1170, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 595 miles. If people like, you know, well, even. I'm Joe Lasky. One person is dead and a commercial building in Leicester is considered a total Here's WHAM, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. Wham, 1180. Hit the building. The driver was killed and the fire ruined the building. It was empty at the time of the crash. Twelve ten WPHT, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, seven hundred miles. Reminding you to continue appointments for routine. 
Go a little quicker up the band because we're running out of time. Arch fit at a Sketcher store near you. WSPD, Toledo, Ohio, 250 the miles. County Sheriff Office plays an integral role in the front WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. KOKC, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 690 miles. WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. But Urias is in the game right now. Showed 186650 Jimbo, 186550 Joseph Weber. Jimbo. <laughs> what a nice name. Oh, sorry. I know there's probably some Jimbos watching my radio show here. So, yeah, rocking name, dude. Uh, 1540 KXCL. Uh, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. Music in 1560. I'm not sure what that is. Sounds like country. This is CHHA out of Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Music there is a mighty KCJJ, Iowa City, Iowa, 175 miles, 1,000 watts at night. KCNZ, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles, 1,000 watts. station here is KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles, and sometimes I get KKLF, Richardson, Texas, uh, 790 miles. Some music you're hearing, and then you hear the sports guy underneath. There we go. Okay, we'll turn that off. Oh, that was a nice little evening band scan with the C Crane CC Sky Wave. Yeah, this is uh, SSB. Got to add that on there. Um, this is equal, like I said, to the uh, regular Sky Wave on reception and excellent on medium wave. Anybody that owns one of these will tell you that it does a great job on medium wave during the day and evening. Um, fantastic. Conditions were a little rough tonight, but not too bad. I had the same issue when I was showcasing CC Pocket. The conditions were a little rough. Um, but uh, it shows you the bandwidth control can really help uh, find those faint stations and being able to hear them. Uh, bringing that down to 2 is a really good number, 2 kilohertz on the medium wave. And, of course, bringing a loop in can help. I just didn't want to spend all day putting, putting a loop here. It would take too much time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big like if you did. A big like if you like this radio. You know it. <laughs> a lot of people love this radio. Um, yeah, so if you want to see more videos, uh, make sure to hit subscribe at the uh, bell icon to get notified of future Sea Crane reviews and band scans and presentations like this. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the CC Skywave SSB on the evening medium wave. Did you like it? Are you more of a an Eaton fan? Would you rather have your Eaton or would you rather have your Sanjin on an X? Just let me know. Kind of curious of what you guys think. Um, I like this one for ultra portability. Not bad at all. All right, guys, take care and we'll see you in my next video.